Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about growing one of my favorite plants, zinnia. Zinnias are amazing. They are colorful, vibrant, easy to grow and long-lasting plants. They are one of the best flowers you can grow in the summertime. Their bold, big and bright flowers stand out in the garden. They come in wide range of colors. They are annuals and they are quite fast growing and easy to grow plants. Zinnias are quite flexible and can be grown in various type of climates. They can withstand hot dry summer and in my garden they grow very well in monsoon too. If you live in a colder climate, you can grow them in summer and fall. If you live in a tropical climate like me, then you can grow them almost throughout the year. Zinnias come in wide varieties of shapes and sizes. There are tall varieties that look great in the garden and are great for cut flowers. You can also grow short varieties that are perfect for small pots. The most impressive thing about the flowers is that they are very long lasting. One flower can last up to a month and they attract a lot of bees and butterflies in the garden. Zinnias are sun-loving plants. They won't grow well in shade. Give them 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight to get maximum flowers. In very hot climate, you can give them afternoon shade so they don't get stressed by the heat. The best way to grow them is by seeds. If you sow seeds directly in the location, you will get the best results. You can also transplant them. Just be careful, don't disturb the roots too much. I have got the best result by directly sowing them. If you live in a colder climate, then you can germinate them indoors and later transplant them outside. Seed growing is very easy. Just place them in the soil, not very deep. Water them. Keep them moist. They will germinate in no time. A well-draining rich soil will be best for growing them. They like slightly acidic soil. You can take any garden soil. Mix some good quality compost with it. You can also make some bone meal if you want. I generally prepare the soil 15 to 20 days before planting. Zinnias will bloom even if you don't fertilize them. But to get lots of good quality flowers, you can feed them weekly with the organic liquid fertilizer, especially if you are growing them in pot. Once a month, you can add some fresh compost around the soil and a little slow release fertilizer. That will be enough. They bloom pretty well with minimum fertilizing. Water zinnias well. They can tolerate dry soil when they are established, but keep them moist and well hydrated. Water them when the top soil feels dry. Don't overwater them. You can also avoid watering on the foliage to prevent any fungus problems. Zinnias can get pests like mealybug, thrips, and powdery mildew. You can spray neem oil weekly to prevent any disease. Deadheading zinnias regularly is very important. As soon as the flower starts to fade, you need to remove them. Don't keep the spent flowers in the plant for too long. Deadheading will encourage new buds and more flowers for a long time. At the end of the season, you can keep some of the flowers to dry, so you can save the seeds for next season and grow them again. This is how you can grow beautiful zinnias in your garden. They are one of the most beautiful plants you can have. Enjoy them. And if this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.